Hey, it's Craig Pike from MyWriteIsMe.com. We are here at the MyWriteIsMe.com world headquarters, also known as My Garage. So we're going to do a disc brake kit install for four lug. It's from Willwood. It's a sweet looking piece. It's going into my 1963 Ford Falcon wagon that is sitting right over there. I'll get some photos of that uh, along with the article. So uh, before we get started, Willwood included some warnings that come with the kit that uh, I'm sure are there for liability reasons, but I'm going to do the same thing and just say, look, if, if you're not confident putting this thing together, then uh, then don't do it or get help from a friend or, um, you know, it's a safety item, so make sure that uh, you get it in there right before you go driving around. And there's some pretty good instructions there for how to do the test drive as well. So in the videos, I'm going to show you some of the more challenging parts or some of the parts that are, are tougher to describe with a photo and, and, and words. Uh, we'll include a video for those things or anything that, that uh, didn't quite go right that isn't in the instructions at all. I'm going to make sure I have a video for that. So uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the, in the blog with the how-to and uh, I hope you like it. All right, so I put one of the hats together. I'm going to put the other one together and just uh, let the video roll. it for the hat. One part of the instructions that isn't totally clear is uh, when you put on the caliper mounting bracket it says that you need to make sure that it's parallel with the rotor so what I did to ensure that it was parallel because you can add shims if it's not is I measured here and I measured down here just to see if they were the same so if they're the same then of course they're parallel 
You can add shims, and I did have to add shim, uh, one shim on one side to uh, straighten it out. All right, this has got to be one of the, the slickest parts of this kit. So uh, there's a little cotter pin here that is that holds in the the, the brake pads. Brake pads themselves, they just slip in like this. So easy. <laughs> Then the car pin goes back through the brake pads and back where it was. And that is it. Bend over the cotter pin and you're ready to go. That's not like any brake job I've ever done. So you don't even have to take a caliper off to, to set it, which is pretty cool. We are, I think, done. All right, one of the other parts of the instructions that was a little bit hard to understand was uh, using the shims on the, uh, the caliper itself to center the, the caliper with the rotor. So I've messed around with this one a little bit to try to get it right, and uh, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm checking with this ruler between here and here. I'm not really measuring, just sort of playing it by ear because the, uh, the shims that they give you for, for this application is uh, 130 seconds, so there's a, uh, you can't really fine tune it all that much. The only thing that happened for me was that I ended up using no shims at all, and uh, so I ended up putting the shim on the outside right here, which is a little blurry, right here, instead of uh, between here and here where it's supposed to be, because that was the, the best way for me to center the, uh, the caliper. And the reason I put the shim out here is because uh, the directions say that you have to be careful for the uh, for the bolt that's sticking out down right in here. So you don't want that to stick out too far. And uh, so I think it's sticking out just a tiny bit, which is what uh, what the instructions say. I think we're almost done. All right, we're done. What it looks like, I think it came out killer. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, taking everything out of the box, it was easy to see that everything was much lighter than what was, I was going to be taking off, and I weighed it. turns out the, the old setup was 22 pounds, and everything that I put back on was 17 pounds. So we saved 5 pounds right there. The uh, worst problems that I had were probably the not having the torque fittings, or the torque bits that I needed to, uh, to put the hub hat assemblies together. But once I got that scored away, that was no problem. The, uh, the shims that we used, that was pretty straightforward. Um, I ended up not using any shims on this side for the caliper, and I did use some on the other. So I think you just have to see what kind of setup you've got and, and make it right. But now when this thing spins, it doesn't drag on either side, so I'm pretty sure that we've got it just right. The, uh, the only thing I didn't mention was the spacer. So depending on what wheels you have, you may end up needing to use a spacer. But uh, I've been able to put my wheels on and I haven't needed it. So um, I did try on the 14 inch wheels that you'll see in the picture that I'm gonna run on this car and uh, they fit just fine without the spacer. I'll, uh, it, we'll see how it goes if I need the spacer uh, once we get the tires and everything mounted. That's it, I hope you guys like the video and I hope you can use it to uh, put this brake kit on yourself. Can't wait to try it.